is go, 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 this is go, 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 this is go, 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 this is go, 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 this is go. Take a look at this, guys. Look what I picked up on camera. Look at this, huh? We got a little sneaky critter running around my town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of hard to see right there, guys. Ah, uh, little gachinha, little kitty cat, huh? Running around my uh, property, huh? Let's take a little looks again, huh? Oh, oh, little hesitation, and then boom, continues on forward. Interesting, huh? Well, my friends, current time, 6.07 p.m. on the dot. We are looking good, but we need to chip chop this up right here. As you guys know, again, if you are rocking a short side cut, it needs to be trimmed up quite frequently because it grows so quickly. So I'm gonna go do a quick little trim up before the missus gets home, vacuum that up so it's all prepared nicely. We do need to get some nutrition in the books pretty soon, so I'll probably do that first before the haircut, and and then we are going to get some action in the books, get a little exercise in the books tonight. Mrs. is gonna be home soon, so we got a lot to do, guys, let's go. So guys, here I am, and I'm about to get some nutrition in the books and cut my hair. But I just came across this awesome Vespa video. It's a Vespa ride, and they're actually testing out a camera footage. It's like a GoPro. It's by the same company, I think, that's making these new drones for cheaper prices. Anyway, then I'm looking at the video, and this guy's Italian on a Vespa in Catania. Catania is where my father-in-law and my wife's dad is from he's from Catania which is in Sicily Italy and this guy is riding around an old-school Vespa right in the heart of Catania man beautiful I've been to Brazil many times but I want to go visit my Italian family I have not personally met my Italian family yet and the reason I'm so excited about this guys is that change is in the air my friends and I think I think again I talked about this yesterday I want to get a Vespa probably not a Vespa I'll probably get a generic version because Vespas are actually pretty expensive I'm like you know in yesterday's vlog I'm like well you know let me sell the car and then I'll buy a Vespa you know thinking it's gonna save me money but no man Vespas even like used ones are like you know two four thousand you know something like that dollars you know no way forget about that so I was doing some research last night take a look at this real quickly guys I was on Craigslist right here okay not that one right there down here take a look at this one this one right here look at that man that's what I'm talking about it needs a new battery but the guy only wants $300 for it needs a new battery and he's over in West Covina in Orange County West Covina or that's technically like LA County I guess but anyway check us out we got to see some pictures of it guys so it's a 150 cc gas scooter 2010 so it's a six-year-old scooter it does have some higher mileage that's why obviously it's a little bit cheaper it has 2,241 miles on it goes I think 50 plus miles per hour take a look at this though guys it comes with I I repeat comes with that awesome little luggage case right there guys I can put some groceries in that I can put my auctions and take them down to the post office I can do all sorts of things so this has confirmed that I am going to be buying a scooter. I just don't know when yet. Obviously, I want to buy this one, and then I can make a YouTube video about how to replace the battery. Only $300. I got like $1,000 worth of, well, nah, I'm not going to call it junk, but I got about $1,000 or more worth of eBay auctions right here, man. I need to actually trade some people. I need to be like, hey, why don't I trade you projectors, earphones, Phones, camera equipment, briefcases, range finders, security systems, dash cameras. Oh my goodness. Actually, now that I think about it, that's actually more than a thousand bucks. We're probably looking at a couple thousand bucks right there that I've been lagging on selling, guys. I just, I, I sometimes it mind boggles me that I'm just sitting on a stack of cash and I'm not doing anything about it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, teach their own. And I'm the first one to admit, I'm a little lazy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Where sometimes I'd rather just vlog and rather dumpster dive and rather just kind of hoard it in there because out of sight out of mind but guys this ain't this ain't, this ain't my cup of tea baby this ain't my cup of tea hey what's up poop emoji how you doing today anyway guys I'm, I'm just excited today just excited for a scooter Workout in the books, baby. We're going on home now. You want to say? Yes. Okay, let's share one. 
Albertsons, where we're gonna get Hawaiian pokey fish for dinner. Hey, what you doing tonight? Text messaging? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Current time, 10, 20 p.m. We got some crab meat with some tofu cooking up right over here. But guys, let me tell you what, my new favorite thing is just fresh cut pineapple, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Especially after a workout, it's absolutely delicious. Now, I'm gonna show you right now a technique that I use every time I go shopping, and it will make your life more enjoyable with food. Trust me on this one, guys. So, especially with fresh fruit, Look at right there on the bottom right there. It says packed on 817, sell by 820. Right there and there. And I'm sorry, it's a little bit hard to focus in there. There we go. Packed on 817, sell by 820 right there. So what they want to do, they have the freshest stuff in the back, obviously, because they want to move the stuff that want they need to sell quicker, the stuff that's older. They push that to the front. They pack the new stuff behind it in the back. And very, very, if nobody, like maybe 5% of people actually dig in the back for the fresh bread fresh fruits etc guys so always dig in the back always check your freshness labels this was packed today absolutely phenomenal guys now other times you do have to be aware sometimes they need to ripen up a little bit more most of the time they're already riped to the fullest bread is another thing especially during the hot months get the bread that's fresher in the back that way especially if it's organic stays nicer longer Time 148 a.m. in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, and we are looking fantastic. Sky is nice and dark, and Cristofro has come out for a prowl. This again is my normal diving night. Well, typically, to honest, be honest with you, I used to dive every single Wednesday and Sunday nights, and then I kind of backed off a little bit to occasional here and there on the way home from church, would pop out occasionally, but then there was this like a gap of time for about three or four months where I just didn't really do it consecutively until starting fresh up with some new episodes of Trash to Treasure. Now, I am uploading more frequently for the show, so more frequent uploads means active footage. So guys, to keep some fresh content means we gotta do some fresh diving. So anyway, guys, again, <laughs> I'm gonna work on my bedtime schedule. I think we're gonna start that next week, though. We got an exciting day tomorrow, an exciting day on Friday, so I'm looking forward to it. So we will be up late again to tonight, but it's all good. We're right now in the hour. We're heading down to Office Depot right now and that shopping center because again, around the two o'clock hour, there are no security that patrols around that time. So it gives me nice little time to look-see without panicking of, am I gonna get caught? Again, in the two o'clock hour, I've never had an issue. Sometimes it's just, you know, it's you gotta stay up late, you know? So then we will probably hit a few more complexes up. But remember, last Wednesday, we got caught by the police, hands in the cans with our flashlight, well, cell phone flashing. And if you guys wanna see that, go take a look. I think, uh, well, I put it out on the Thursday, last Thursday. So technically, as you're watching this, go back one week ago and you'll see the vlog where I get caught by the cops. And then the newest episode of Trash to Treasure, I show you that footage, I talk a little bit more about the story, etc. Anyway, guys, we got a few more minutes of a drive in front of us here, feeling frisky, feeling good. Let's go. All right, guys, sorry about the dirty windshield. I'm approaching Office Depot. It looks like there were construction workers out front of the old sports authority already. So I think they're inside working graveyard shifts. But anyway, lights are off right here. So I'm gonna go on in for a closer look. There was a car that was kind of creeping kind of slow. You always gotta be careful about that, guys, because they could call you in. So you never wanna really draw attention to yourself. Sorry about the lights, let's go. All right, guys, let's try this round two without having the police stop me. <laughs> and I already see something right there. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, that's a four drawer Ikea with the uh, the one on the top is clear where you can see your socks with the nice little pull out thing. We might just cut the lights and go take a look in the bins there because that's about 150 brand new, 200 easy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Is that a treadmill behind that DLP TV? We're definitely going in for a closer look. This is the cans that I got caught at last time, guys. Look at this. We got a bunch of action. Let's go.
What was funny guys was that as I was at those cans where I got caught by the cop last time, I thought I heard another car coming around the corner and I was like, you gotta be joking me. And if they would have caught me again, guys, then obviously they're spotting somebody coming in the complex and they're doing some undercover work, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I thought I heard uh, like a fan of air conditioning or whatever and I was like, not again, but it was the fan of this one. So anywho guys, clean and clear, definitely a nice night to hunt. We're looking absolutely fantastic. I just have a feeling it's one of those hot nights for furniture at least, guys. Midweek, again, we're looking absolutely fantastic with all that furniture. While we're waiting for this light to change, guys, this is the only thing I've taken. Coca-Cola points on the bottom of that bag and that Office Depot small thing for organization. <laughs> That's it so far out of all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, current time at 3.32 a.m. in the morning, and we have been diving a little bit later than we wanted to, but that's all right, my friends. That is all right, because sometimes when you need the footage, when you know it's hot, it's hot, you gotta go, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the sneak peeks. Again, I'm not gonna give you a full, full breakdown because we do have to save some footage for the full episode of Trash to Treasure. I believe we're gonna be on episode five, I believe, of season five is the newest one coming up pretty soon, guys. So anyway, I wanted to leave you with a do with a couple sneak peeks, and we are looking absolutely fantastic. But guys, a lot of furniture tonight, a lot of furniture. We started off really, really hot, and then it cools down the second portion of diving. So you kind of go home, you know, and you're like, ah, cool, cool, you know, whatevs, whatevs. What's this going on over here? What are they, street sweeping? Looks like street sweeping in the middle of the night. What's going on? with that anyway guys we're looking absolutely fantastic we're gonna go home get some sleep and just chislack a little bit because we got to put some things in the books for tomorrow my friends oh I did find a uh, ceramic uh, hair straightener uh, so actually there was a grab box with some old stuff in it I didn't really a sunglasses case juicy couture skip that but I did grab the ceramic hair straightener which is right down here next to my coca-cola points there's the cord to the right hand side there sorry guys if you can't really see that too well with that ado have a wonderful night always remember to be safe god bless you god protect you remember to carpe diem baby live your dream and i'll see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow we got some stuff in the books all righty later Ow!